Ghana has signed and ratified all the global conventions related to environment and sustainable development and participates in fora on the global conventions related to sustainable development. For the year 2010 to 2011, the Commission on Sustainable Development is dealing with the thematic areas of waste, mining, chemicals, transport and the sustainable consumption and production patterns. Although mining activities can contribute significantly to the economic prosperity of the nation, mining can also have negative impacts. There are quite uh, extensive problems with the mining areas, uh, mining operations, uh, degradation of farmlands, environmental pollution. Uh, we also have uh, pollution of water bodies within mining catchment areas, you know. And then we also have, you know, social problems with community, relocation of communities. And, but all the same, the government has also, you know, initiated some steps, you know, to you know, regulate, you know, the operations within the mining areas. And uh, the government established the Environmental Protection Agency, you know, the main agency that regulates, you know, uh, the activities of mining areas in terms of environmental governance. The LIA 1652 of June 1999 uh, makes it mandatory for undertakings, including mining, to go through the environmental impact assessment procedures in Ghana. The various baseline information required are comprehensively assessed, including socio-economic information, and then the potential effect the project, which is the mining and processing activities that will have on the environmental resources, including socio-economic assessment, are provided in a report for evaluation. We looked at the various factors and see the potential impact and the mitigations. Then we also have uh, the private-public partnership, you know, with government, you know, and the private sector involved in the mining. Uh, operations and then one key area that is also quite laudable it's uh, asking uh, the mining companies to set aside uh, what we call the, the reclamation bond which is helping uh, promote uh, good environmental governance waste is generated every day and it has direct consequences on public health and these affect the venerable Poor sanitation and municipal solid waste management has contributed to pollution and unsightly conditions, hindering economic development. Uh, we have not done much in this area because uh, we lack uh, the uh, expertise to assist our local councils with uh, the knowledge to manage waste. And we don't have a good uh, collection system. You know, because of the way that uh, the urban cities are planned. Uh, so these areas need quite uh, a lot of uh, intervention by government, you know, in helping uh, the waste you know, management to be more efficient. I believe that uh, the new policies will be directed towards uh, environmental you know, and uh, sanitation uh, programs that will reduce uh, the you know, menace of waste. Ghana has embarked on a rigorous chemicals management program with the objectives to ensure that chemicals are used safely to protect the environment and public health and reduce unacceptable risks associated with use of chemicals. We are in the process of uh, passing a bill you know about the use of toxic chemicals. Uh, currently what we also do is we uh, issue permits for companies to uh, import chemicals into the country and this gives us the opportunity to control the influx. We are also working with the Ministry of Agriculture to uh, support farmers you know uh, the use of uh, friendly chemicals in uh, agro in farming. The Ministry of Roads and Transport is the main formulator of transportation policy. The country's strategies, policies and plans have been formulated to meet the stated objectives and the medium-term development plan of Vision 2020 for the roads and transport sector. There's the need that uh, uh, we do a lot 
right now uh, we are faced with uh, serious uh, vehicular emissions. There will be an establishment of emission standards uh, for both private and commercial vehicles. And then also we will look at the law that prevents you know, the importation of uh, second-hand vehicles above 10 years. And then also encouraging mass transportation for commuters. I think that uh, when all these policies are put in place, we will reduce uh, vehicular emission by about 20 to 30 percent.